The farmer harvests 45 to 55 tons on one hectare and he or she sells on the price of 4,000 random francs. Or sometimes you get a contract in a company and the price can be as high as 7,000 random francs. But let us take the average of 4,000 random francs because it is common price we sell on usually. So if you invest on one hectare, you will have your 200 million random francs after selling all the harvest. There is an organization that helps us in means of funds, BDF, but it requires a collateral before it can fund you, and that is a challenge to us because most of us don't have properties or animals we can put up as collateral. So we ask our good government to help us with that challenge and we see if there is something BDF can change. We thank you all for following Ituzuzo TV, the voice of agriculture and livestock today. Today we visited Musanze district, Motsa sector, where near IPRC Musanze. We are visiting one of the fresh graduates from IPRC Musanze. He was doing agriculture and food production. We make these videos because we want to sensitize the information to Rwandans about how agriculture is such a good field and how it is one of the businesses that returns the investment in a short period. The one we visited grows strawberries and we hope to cover everything you need to know about it. Thank you so much. My name is Tamimana Valensi and here we are in Musanze district. It is my home district and basically I have lived here my whole life. After doing my primary and O-level education, I continued my studies in agriculture at Eave Bigogwe. Then, after that, as they told you, I went to IPRC Musanze to do agriculture and food processing. But, but besides that, I always wanted to be a businessman. So in my last year of university, I thought of a business idea. My vision was an idea that doesn't help just me, but also the society at large. So I tried to find a plant that usually has a good price on the market, no matter what the challenges, and simultaneously help everyone who, feel, who feeds on it in terms of nutrients the body needs. And I finally decided that the, that, that plant, and I finally decided that that plant was strawberry. It is one of the plants that can speed up people's development and it is full of nutrients that the body needs. I started with five seeds and I germinated them into lots of seedlings. I started on 20th March 2021. Those plants gave me 6,000 seedlings and as you can see, I now have a big plot that contains all of them. I also have a place where I do germination that can produce enough seedlings for a whole hectare if I was to get an investor. Mostly in Msanze, it's a district popular for growing Irish potatoes, what we refer to as Ibira Ibida Tiniji. So how can you convince an investor that another different plant will grow here and be as successful and profitable. Yes, I am sure we can convince an investor of that. There is actually a research made about it that one hectare can produce a harvest of 45 to 55 tons of strawberries. So think, if someone invests on a hectare and grows st strawberries, the harvest of 45 to 55 tons and if they sell on the usual price of 4,000, which is average because the price can go as high as 7,000 Rwandan francs if you have a contract with a certain company. But let us go with averages. 
with the harvest of 50 tons on a hectare and the price of 4,000 Rwandan francs. In that way, you have 200 million Rwandan francs as your return on investment. In two years, that is when the season is over and all the plants are harvested. In a three-month period, strawberries start to ripen, and in a six-month period, strawberries start giving you the harvest. So, yeah, it is profitable a lot, as you can hear. So, how many times can strawberries give a harvest in one week when they ripen? Well, as you can see, mine are not yet ripe. My plot is... 1,200 1, meters squared, and according to the research, a plot like this is supposed to produce a harvest of 60 to 80 kilogram per week. Strawberry is a perennial plant, which means it is capable of producing harvest in like four different seasons, which means that is two years. It is not like, for example, cabbages, where when they grow, you just harvest once and it is over. In two years period, that's when it starts to show signs that the harvest is all exhausted. Stro strawberries, strawberries are not severely attacked by pests and they resist diseases according to what type they are. Like the type we planted here, it's called bravula. They produce more harvest, they resist diseases. After their season is over, in two years, you can uproot the old plants and plant other seedlings again right away. They don't need crop rotation until it has been six years. Now, explain like you are explaining to someone who is seeing this for the first time. How are they planted? Walk us through the process. And we are used to seeing another type of strawberries which is somehow rough on the outer cover, while this one's smooth. Mostly, these, those are strawberries that grow naturally in the bushes. These ones are the commercial type. They are really productive and they can even give one ton of harvest per week, depending on how large is the plot you planted them on. But with those that grow naturally, you cannot find even one ton no matter no matter how long you would wait or how large the plot is. The question about planting them. There are people who just plant them like they can plant any other crop. The way that they make a deep hole and just plant, that is wrong. Strawberries have tap roots, which means they absorb water from the surface and transfer it to the secondary or tertiary tap roots underground. When the rain falls, you irrigate with a lot of water. It, may, it would make the surface fruits rot. For that reason, it is good to make smaller plots in one big plot, like 30 meters in length and 2 meters in width, and live away between one plot and another. This also makes it easier for when you want to pass while inspecting, and it gives a way for harvesting ma machines when they are passing through. Firstly, if you want to plant strawberries, you need to have a plot where you can plant them, or if you want to plant them on a small scale, even use an unused bucket, small tank, or just a basin. You just have to fill it with soil and plant your seedlings there. Like if it is just for a household, that can give you enough for your home without having to buy them, especially with how expensive they are. Another advice I would like to give to people who want to start growing strawberries is to use organic fertilizer, manure. 
no additives or inorganic fertilizers. We don't even use pesticides. We use the process of preventing the disease before it comes. We take the weeds out, mulch the plot, and use organic fertilizer, rich in salts that help strawberry to fight and resist diseases. You can prepare your own fertilizer rich in all the nutrients. You can prepare your own fertilizer rich in all nutrients the plant needs just like how one may prepare a balanced diet. You can do it by taking cow dung, pig dung, hen's waste and rabbit's waste and add cow's urine. You mix all that and you have your ideal fertilizer. The germination process of a strawberry is done in lots of different ways, starting with the seeds you have. The first way, you can use the seeds. The seeds are gotten when you, you take a ripe strawberry and prepare it in a way that it gives you a fruit. The fruit gives you a seedling and that is what you plant. How many seedlings do you think can come from one fruit? One strawberry can give you about 200 seedlings and because and that is because it has almost 300 seeds in itself. When the strawberry is newly harvested, you can take those seeds on it and keep them somewhere to be used in germination. But it is not advised on strawberries that are old. The second way you plant a seedling until it sprouts, in this stage, there are seeds that grow on it. When you want seedlings, you can cut off the flowers and old leaves in a way that the strawberry plant is in a new condition. This way you hinder its growth so that it grows baby plants beside it. So you cut off the baby plants which are now seedlings and plant them directly. Regarding the issue of getting market, there is one they gave me through the minister and they promised me that they will start working with me when I will be able of delivering 200 kilogram per week. I will sign a contract right away and start working with them. Right now, I can only deliver 40 kilogram per week, but I hope it is soon that I start harvesting more than that. So, what about now? Where do you sell that harvest? Today, I sell on the average price of 4,000 Rwandan francs, as we said earlier. It is a fair price, but it is not as high as I would sell on if I had a contract. And with my knowledge in food processing, I plan on starting to process my harvest into other products when I have enough harvest. Strawberries can make a lot of different products, like a very good wine, juice, strawberry jam, powdered flavors, and other lots of products. When strawberries are ripe enough, they look red and delicious, as you see these. These are ready enough to be harvested and sold. With how you plant strawberries, they are clean enough to be eaten directly, without even washing. Thank you for listening as I explained all of this. The challenges faced by young people currently is that they are not confident enough to be brave and try something new. They all want to be employed by someone else, not them thinking their own ideas or starting something of their own. But that is just a mindset that everyone must have a blue-collar job, especially to people who did agriculture. They should abolish that mindset, bring out those ideas that are brilliant and start on them. And it is largely known that our country has limited land for agriculture and the other real challenge out here is the capital. 
Some people be having the land and the knowledge to use it with, but they cannot seem to get the capital to start large-scale agriculture. They connected us to the board that is supposed to help us, BDF, but it has a lot of requirements for it to fund, to fund you. I would like to plead with the government to try and make it easy for the people to access the funds or loans that BDF gives because asking for a coratello from young people is quite a lot and only a few can get it. If the government made it easy for us, we would be really, really grateful. Youth in Agribusiness Forum. There is a forum for young farmers called Rwandan Youth in Agribusiness Forum. I would like to extend a message to them too. As young farmers, we would like them to work hand in hand with us because that is the only way they would tackle the real problems among farmers, not when they don't do site works, to really inspect what is really going on behind their office doors. We would like them to do their job and really be a voice for young farmers as they're supposed to be so that we can know that Rwanda has a bright future in agriculture given how it is one of the most important pillars in our country's development. I also have a message to the youth of Rwanda. Please stop being lazy and get to work. Taking an example on me, I started when I barely had anything. I never got too comfortable because I know what my vision is. My goals are to one day become my goal is to one day be able to grow my plants in my own greenhouse so that it goes according to what the country is going towards too. Plants, environmentally safe plants and reducing emission of greenhouse gases. I would like to tell them to implement their ideas and implement them with long-term goals, not just the short-term ones that get squashed immediately from expecting too much in just a few minutes. And remember, don't care too much about people's opinion of you or of your hustle. When you start caring too much, it limits you, and trust me, there is nothing funny in being poor. Thank you so much for teaching us and for your wise words today. Thank you as well for giving me a platform to express myself and my work. Ichizuzo TV is really a voice for agriculture and livestock. This was Sabimana Valence, founder and director manager of NKVN Nitezimbere Limited. And let me take this time to invite investors, both national and international, to invest in growth of strawberries. It is a really good business and it has a very good return on investment in a short period. It uses the TV, the voice of agriculture and livestock.